So, I bought a lot of books. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my June book unboxing. I have so many books here today to unbox. I waited all month to unbox it in one video. You know what? You know what people love? An unboxing video. No idea why, but you guys do. <laughs> so I have my trusty scissors. Let's get into these. I have about 20 books here today. Why am I waiting for on scissors? A lot of these are from Depop. I have my Depop shop linked down below if you're interested. I have some from thrift books, some from Amazon, and some from Better World Books. I know a lot of you don't know what Better World Books is. Check it out. It has a really good prices. I'm not sponsored by them, obviously, but let's just get into it. I'm talking way too much. So the first package here I have is from Better World Books. I bought five books from Better World Books. I have another package with Better World Books where the other one is. All of them are by black authors, so this is gonna be fun. Let me open them. So, hope I'm not cutting into any of the books. Yikes. I just realized I have to like lift it up to show you guys the books because my camera is at a weird angle. So yeah, I have four books in the package. Kind of forgot the books I bought, so. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so this is so hard to get into. I'm struggling. Um, okay. I just realized I have to like not flash you guys my address. The first one I have is This Is What It Feels Like by Rebecca Barrow. It's about a black author. It has sapphic romance, I believe. And the main character is a black girl. It seems so happy, so fun. I bought this like free $3, so amazing. <laughs> I'm really excited to read this book. The next book I have is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I literally talked about wanting to read Elizabeth Acevedo's books in my mid-year freakout tag. I have that link down below also. Elizabeth Acevedo is an author I really want to love and I really think I'm going to love. Um, this book is written in verse. All I know about this book is that it takes place with a girl who I'm pretty sure is Afro-Latinx. She's a slam poet. Next is Mirage by Somia. Dodd. The real reason I bought this book because the second book in the series cover is stunning. I'll put it up here. It's stunning. Oh my gosh. So I was like, you know what? Why not buy this book? Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna read this book. I have no idea what this book is about. All I know is the fantasy. This cover is stunning also and I'm just really excited to read it. The next and last book in that package is A Blade So Black by Ella McKinney. Again, a black girl as the main character. Love that for me. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. And I know there's so many Alice in Wonderland retellings, but I've never read any of them. <laughs> so this is gonna be my first Alice in Wonderland retelling and I'm really excited. I'm pretty sure the it's a sapphic romance in the series. I don't think it's in the first book. I think it develops during the whole trilogy. So I'm really excited. The cover is stunning. Love that. I really don't go into books knowing a lot. I just know what people have said on either YouTube or Twitter. I don't know a lot. Next, I have this Amazon Prime package. When I was buying my microphone, I had to like make it a $25 purchase to get free shipping. So I just added this book along. I know exactly what book is in here, but let's act surprised. I really hope I'm not poking any of these books when I'm opening them, because that will actually make me cry. I really hate opening packages. Why am I opening it so angrily? Oh my gosh. Anyways, it's On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got this new and I never get books new. So I was like, if I'm going to get a book new, I'm going to have to support my good author, Angie Thomas. I love The Hate You Give. I literally talk about The Hate You Give any chance I get. I really hope I love the book as much as I loved The Hate You Give. This book is basically about a girl, who, which I'm pretty sure is an up and coming rap artist, I believe. I believe. This book is labeled as LGBT+, so I don't know what sexuality the main character is, to be honest. I know nothing going to books. I'm sorry. If you came here wanting to have like full-on descriptions, I'm sorry to disappoint you because that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really excited to read this book. Angie Thomas, I really, really want to support all of her works. Anything Angie Thomas puts out, I am there for it. I am 100% there for it. One of my favorite new authors of this year. The next package is from Depop. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. There's a hole in here. I didn't do the hole on purpose. It came with the hole in it. But I sneak the peek and I know what's in this package. I'm really excited for both of these books. <laughs> okay. I cut through a little bit. I don't think I need to cut through any I'm being really dramatic. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm being really violent on camera. <laughs> okay. 
<gasps> these books look stunning why did i squeal <laughs> so these are strange dreamer and muse of nightmares by lanny taylor if you don't know me the daughter of smoking bones series i literally adored it lanny taylor's writing is absolutely stunning it's so beautiful to read i rated all three books in the daughter and smoking bone trilogy of five stars i loved it so much again i really don't know what these books are about to be honest with you guys but they're stunning oh my gosh when i tell you i wanted these books for so long i've been searching and scouring for good prices on these books because when i tell you i'm gonna do anything in my power to not buy books full price i just that's just not for me that is just not my lifestyle i found these for eight dollars each i believe which i think is an amazing price for like a brand new condition books like this books i wanted for years i'm so excited to read these books oh my god they're absolutely stunning oh my gosh it's so beautiful like wow lady taylor never disappoints this story so i know i'm gonna love these books next i have a thrift books package again it has a hole in it not my fault <laughs> i didn't poke holes and need to sneak i already knew what i bought but yeah so i have catching fire by susan collins i know you guys are like wait didn't you say you're like a hungry and fangirl why didn't you own this book before when I first read this series, I borrowed the first two books from my friend in middle school, and I only bought the last book when I read first read the series. So, and I, then I got the Hunger Games in this store. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until I find Catching Fire in the thrift store, and that never happened. And now we're on lockdown, <laughs> so I'm not gonna go thrifting anytime soon. So I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it from thrift books, and I did. It was four dollars. It's in it's in really good condition. The only bad thing is the, the bent part. But if you guys saw my copy of Mockingjay, it is beat up and I bought that new from Barnes and Noble so clown hours for me truly clown hours but this looks so much better than my copy of Mockingjay so I'm not really mad about it it's a really good condition I really want to read the whole Hunger Games series before I read Battle of Summers and Snakes I'm pretty sure I'm gonna read Battle of Summers and Snakes before the end of this month so I'm excited I'm so excited that I finally got this book next I have Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the Natural series. I read The Naturals, the first book in the series, like two years ago, and I really loved it. And then I got the third book, but I never acquired the second book, so I had to wait to freaking get the second book because I don't know, this book is never available. It's so weird to me. The series is based about like these naturals who have like special like instincts not power they're kind of more above average teenagers who they're put together in this group called the naturals and they help the fbi to basically solve crimes so the first book was really interesting i think i'm gonna get the, the fourth book and the last book in the series before i reread naturals and read the whole series but i'm really excited this book series was really, really interesting i know a lot of people love the series on book two hopefully i love it because i already have the third book and i bought this already so hopefully i love it because it'll be a waste of money for to give all these books away but you know crossing my fingers next i have this little package i know exactly what's in here <sighs> okay i'm not strong enough to do that i don't know what i thought i was doing <laughs> um someone tell me that i'm not superman please i swear it's easier to do this okay I know exactly what book this is. This person packaged it so well. <laughs> oh my gosh. But this is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. This book is tiny. Oh my gosh. I did not expect it to be this tiny. This is her most popular book. It is about a boy who's writing letters to Martin Luther King. And I'm really excited to read this book. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this book. I'm trying to find new black authors that I can like 100% trust. So like I don't have to like scourge for black books. <laughs> so hopefully Nick Stone becomes one of those authors. The next package I have is this weird thing. <laughs> I know exactly what's in here. This is the latest package I received. I received this yesterday, I believe. How am I cutting these? Ugh. I really could... It'd be a nightmare if I cut into books. Like that was actually my nightmare. <laughs> You guys can see both of the books, but both of the books are stunning. The first one is Tyler Johnson is Here by Jay Coles, and then I have The Sun's All Star Star by Nicola Yoon. I haven't read any of these books. These books are so popular, and I haven't read any of them. This book is about it's a one day fall in love. I'm pretty sure there's about two people. One of them is 
a black Jamaican girl, I believe, and one of them is an Asian boy. And I think their parents are either getting deported, I think, or it's the one main character. I have no idea what this book is about. Let me just shut up and explain this book so poorly because I have no idea what it's about. But you know what? You know what drove me to get this book? Everyone loves this. This is one of the cutest black love stories, even though the love interest is not black. You know what I mean. This is one of the cutest stories by a black author ever in the young girl genre. And I love black joy. You know, it's not all about black trauma. People love black trauma, but don't pay black joy their dues, their props. Tyler Johnson was here is about uh, two twin brothers. One of them, Tyler Johnson, goes missing, and his one twin brother is trying to figure out what happened. This book kind of reminds me of Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson, but um, Monday's Not Coming deals with like two best friends and two twins, but it kind of reminds me of Monday's Not Coming. If it's anything like Monday's Not Coming, I'm gonna love it. I love Monday's Not Coming. I love Tiffany Jackson in general. Oh, hopefully, I love Jay Coles. <laughs> Next package is this red beautiful package. No idea what is in here, to be honest, but let's find out together. <laughs> oh, okay. Makes sense. I have The Axe of the Answer and Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. This is the second book and third book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. I already finished both of these books. I think I rated this a four stars and this a five stars, I believe. This is a really interesting dystopian young adult trilogy. I'm pretty sure there was a movie made on this trilogy or it was in the making. I don't know with Tom Holland. Has that come out yet? I just don't know. I have no idea. But this is one of the trilogies I really, really love. It's one of the dystopians where after the Hunger Games where I thought it was really, really interesting, very creative. I just wanted it on my shelf to read. And these editions are so beautiful. So yeah, I'm really excited to have these on my shelf so I can finally read the whole series. Next I have this package again. No idea <laughs> what's in here to be honest. Let's find out together. It's really hard not to flash my freaking address to you guys, but I need to keep remembering that, like, no, you're gonna flash your address. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have these two Sarah Destin books. If you don't know me, I'm, I have like seven Sarah Destin books. I have kind of a collection of her books. So I have Keeping the Moon and Someone Like You by Sarah Destin. No idea what these books are about, but if I know Sarah Destin is about like a summer romance. <laughs> Next, I have this package. I have no idea what's in here again, so let's find out. Hope I'm not, hopefully I'm not cutting a book. <laughs> Try not to cut the books. This is, a, this is a, a stream sport. I know people do un unboxing every freaking like day on their channels. Like what? <laughs> I'm trying not to cut a book. <laughs> this is really an extreme sport. Oh my gosh, this this packaging is so thick. Okay, I know exactly what's in here now. Okay, I'm struggling, guys. I'm actually struggling. Okay. Okay, I know exactly what's in there. So, first I have Made You Up by Francesca Zeppia, which I'm pretty sure is the author of Eliza and, and All Our Monsters. I haven't read that book yet, but this cover is stunning. This book is about a girl with schizophrenia and how she, she's kind of dealing with that. Really excited to read this book. And next I have Girls Like Paper and Fire, by Natasha Ingen. Ingen? The um, seller painted the edges, which is something I love seeing in books, but something I would never do because I'm me and I'm lazy. Really excited for this book. It's about a girl who is taken as like a slave by a king, but she also meets a girl who I think is an, also a slave and they meet and they fall in love. So it's a sapphic love story and I'm just here for it. A lot of people love this book. I wanna love this book. I have so many books I want to get to by the end of the summer. Will I get to all of them? That's the question we have to find out. Next, I have another package. Again, no idea what's in here. I'm trying to open it and hold it up so you guys can see me opening it. Is it, is it working though? I don't think so. in here for some reason she put it this in here okay okay I have they both die at the end by Adam Severa Adam Severa is a very popular young adult contemporary out there I have never read one book from him I know shame me please <laughs> I'm just so excited and I got a signed copy is it signed to Julia yes but Let's just take everything we can. 
one step at a time, okay? All I know of this book is that the two main characters who fall in love, they both die at the end. Next, I have a Better World book package, and that's the last book I bought within the five I bought. They separated the packages for some reason. I don't know why, but they did. So, this is... Oh, Finally, Yvonne by Brandi Colbert. Brandi Colbert is one of my favorite authors of all time. I talked about this in my Midyear Freakout tag. I'm so excited to read all of her books. This is one of the books I haven't read yet, so I'm excited to read it. Hope I love it. And the last package is... Um... Oh! Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I love how I talked about I haven't read an Alice in Wonderland retelling. But I have this book. I love this cover. Yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. I love the Lunar Chronicles. It's about the Queen of Hearts, or villain origin story. So we reached the end of this unboxing. I know there was a lot. I really enjoyed unboxing all of these books on camera. Hope you enjoyed watching me do it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more of these videos. And yeah, bye.